U47700, also known as Pink, is an opioid drug created in 1976 by pharmaceutical company Upjohn, which is now owned by Pfizer. What was once tested on animals is now in the hands of humans to recreationally get high. It's definitely just in the last year been something that has been of great interest in that we'd never seen it before, nor had we ever heard of any study even, you know, describing it. In the last 10 years, physicians have seen an explosion in the use and availability of novel psychoactive substances. Now, more than 30 years later, U47700 joins the trend of designer opioids Chinese labs are openly selling online. In theory, these purchases are supposed to be for research purposes only. There's a huge desire to, for people to abuse recreational, you know, recreationally these novel drugs, whether it's to avoid detection on drug screening, whether to just search for the new high, whether it's just much more available as you know, thing, people crack down on certain drugs. What are some of the symptoms of being high or of an overdose? And certainly some people will feel this, you know, this high, this euphoria with it. And so they may get that if they use you know, a, a proper, what we'd say, recreational dose. But if you use too much, you'd get some of the really you know, scary side effects would be your breathing would stop, you, uh, you can lose consciousness and you know, die from it. With U47700 becoming more common, major questions arise. One of the real challenges with a drug like this is it was never studied in humans that we know of. And so it was kind of made in the laboratory and tested on some animals, but no idea in terms of what dose you would use therapeutically, and it never really was used therapeutically for as a pain you know, medication. So there's very little information on well, how much would you use recreationally? How would you use it? Physicians have used naloxone or Narcan to reverse the side effects. However, U47700 is leaving many in disbelief. I mean, I think it's crazy that somebody would buy something recreationally and you don't really know exactly even what it is, let alone a drug that even if you knew what it was and you knew the dose, you don't even know really what, to, what dose to use. Mm -hmm. That's amazing to me. I mean, that's, that seems pretty desperate to me. But this desperation is commonly experienced by people already addicted to opioids. It's also prevalent in recreational users who may be well on their way to becoming addicted to these substances. For Sovereign Health, I'm Christina Kustner.